Welcome to our ongoing coverage of VMworld 2020. Today, I have the pleasure of having Ben Murphy in the studio with us. He's the Senior Director of Product Management at Lakeside Software. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Brian. Thanks a lot for having me. Really appreciate the chance to speak with both you and David. Well, as Brian said, we appreciate you joining. And uh, I wanted to just you know, jump right into it and see, you know, to start it off, if you could just give a quick overview about Lakeside, the, the company itself. Sure thing. So Lakeside has been in business for a little bit, but uh, as kind of an introduction for people who may not be familiar, we make a product called SysTrack, and uh, its kind of singular purpose in life is digital experience monitoring or really helping people understand what kind of experience people get out of end-user computing platforms. So it could be desktops, laptops, virtual machines, uh, really any use case we would cover. And uh, we'd have some uh, kind of exciting features to talk about with you here on that subject. We're here celebrating VMworld, but obviously it's uh, not a physical show this year and has turned to a digital event. I just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, what you think of the digital events versus the physical trade shows that we're used to. Well, uh, you know, there, there's something to be said for what I think is the trade show musk that kind of floats around the trade floor sometimes. But uh, no, uh, I think it's a positive and a negative in a way because it's opened the door to a lot of people who may not have ordinarily had the chance to kind of participate. But it also, I think, kind of takes away from the in-person experience that you can get uh, with, you know, physically interacting with people. I think that is an element that is still exceptionally difficult to nail with remote technologies 100%. But I think that it's still a, a very interesting learning opportunity and obviously a lot of very interesting chances for people to get exposure to technology that would be difficult for them under just normal circumstances. Yeah, I agree. It uh, it definitely opens it up to more people than uh, than the physical. I'll miss some of the personal interactions, but uh, you know it is what it is. <laughs> One of the other uh, you know big changes that we're living through right now is is uh, is a massive shift towards working from home. Uh, what are your thoughts on you know the whole work from home thing and how has it changed you know things that are going on within Lakeside? Sure. So I think much like everyone else, of course, we exist in the same world, uh, you know, for better or for worse. Uh, so we've been doing our own remote work exercises and, uh, you know, internally, I think it's validated that it's a, a very supportable model for us to work from. But I think in turn, it's also really helped us understand the market interest in what people really are looking for in terms of understanding remote work activities. So, you know, did I get someone the devices that they need to be productive? To, can they access applications they have to have? So all of a sudden, you've kind of taken a company and, you know, a large organization, maybe you've got 200, 300 locations, whatever it is. Now you've got 60,000, 120,000. I mean, we had a customer that said effectively it was kind of like opening, uh, you know, 150,000 new branch locations, right? Like all of a sudden you've got all of these places that are extensions of your office that you didn't have before. So I think with that comes advantages, right? Obviously there are some interesting savings opportunities in terms of real estate and being physically located somewhere. So I think we're going to start to see a fundamental shift in what constitutes, you know, what do I do for my job? I think a lot of people are now coming to the realization that physically going to an office, while, you know, it has its benefits in some ways, may not necessarily really drive the business factors that people are starting to use to make those decisions. And as we're here talking about uh, VMware, can you maybe tell our listeners a little bit about the relationship between Lakeside Software and VMware and how you guys partner together? Absolutely. So we have historically partnered quite a bit with VMware on the subject of understanding and assessing user 
workloads. So for those of you who are familiar with our kind of extant uh, SysTrack desktop assessment offering, that is a mechanism that is designed to understand all of the facets of someone's environment, whether they have virtualization or not, and give them a pathway forward to use Horizon. So let's say for the sake of argument, you wanted to implement a Windows virtual desktop technology with a Horizon management plane, that would be something that you could use us for to assess. But, and this is really, I think, where the key for the relationship is, we provide an insight into how do those devices function after you've done that. So for us, the, the story doesn't kind of stop after you've implemented a solution. So we partner a lot with VMware Professional Services and, and with a lot of partnering organizations to help customers make sure they have really have succeeded in whatever digital transformation they're trying to undertake or moving workloads around or, you know, whatever it is that they want to do. And can you go maybe into a little bit more detail, dive into the technology itself to uh, explain it to the audience? And, uh, and then if you could maybe talk about what makes uh, Lakeside or SysTrack unique or differentiated in the market? Absolutely. So I think that one of the more differentiating factors in our case is this kind of ubiquity of, of data collection. So for us, I think one of the most interesting things we can do is collect data from every device that someone can interact with. So obviously that's a lot, right? So I mean, you're speaking to me now, I have a MacBook in front of me, I have a PC behind that, I have a Chromebook to my right, I have a Linux laptop to my left. So my digital experience is all of these things together because I use them every day, but creating that picture would be challenging without something that is kind of collecting data in a reliable and consistent way across all of them. So that's kind of our approach is the breadth. So being able to collect across a large number of different types of systems, because I, it's you normally don't find any customer that only has one type of device. You know, it just doesn't happen. Um, so that's one thing. And then the depth. So the ability for us to have customization and one of the newer features that we'll be talking about as well expands that to a completely unprecedented depth, but we can talk about that in a bit. But, uh, you know, the, the idea that we can collect the data no matter where it is and now no matter what it is, is a very, very important thing. Because without that, even if you can do some things like kick off remote scripts, which we can do, you may not have the full context for when it's appropriate to do that. So our philosophy is you want to have as much data as you possibly can because the diagnosis and the root cause is kind of where the magic happens. And that's really difficult to do. And that's kind of where we excel, I guess I would say. And normally at VMworld, this is a time where everybody comes out with new product updates or new features. Uh, is there anything that Lakeside and has uh, added to SysTrack recently or any new updates you have for us? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm glad you asked that question. I've got a few things that uh, we can go through and share. Uh, of course, we kind of are a lot like some of the other people you run into out there, and we do like to announce things around this time frame. So uh, we are launching an updated version of the product. Uh, I would say kind of first and foremost in terms of things that people would notice is just a general look and feel update. Uh, so that will be coming both to our cloud and to our on-premises versions, both of which are you know now released. But I would say that the biggest changes now are with an introduction to some new collection mechanisms into our ecosystem. For example, the ability to expand collection to Chromebook devices, which a lot of people now use as thin clients for remote workloads and augment what we already collect in terms of the session details for, let's say, uh, you know, again, a Horizon VDI deployment, let's say, with the client. A lot of people have that problem because it, you lose some visibility when you get into the remote work use case and someone may be providing their own device or you don't know what their network is like or any number of things. So expanding what we can collect there, very key advantage for us. We have also, though, introduced some brand new ITSM tooling that I think is probably one of the more interesting features. And to me is kind of a note on where I see us kind of proceeding in terms of helping the service desk be an easier kind of job to undertake. 
So I'll walk through some examples of that, but we use ServiceNow as kind of our primary ITSM platform for that integration. And it highlights our root cause analytics and our sensor platform within ServiceNow. So a uh, couple things to show off if that's okay. Yeah, it'd be great if we can get a demo. Absolutely. Welcome to the demo. Uh, so we'll be going through an example of our online product. This is our cloud-based insiders. So our insiders edition is more feature complete in that it gets earlier features, but they are beta. You do have the option to opt in. Uh, you'll notice I'm looking at our AI ops platform now that gives me some information on what's happening on a device. Well, let's take a look at one of interest. So it, for just you know, conversational sake, let's say Wi-Fi signal strength, which in this case is probably a pretty interesting one for the remote work case. So let's take a device that someone could be interacting with for whatever remote work purpose. It probably is a component of something that they use with a fuller solution set, like that's say hosted virtual desktop or other things. And we can click in and get all of this rich detail about what's happening to them right now. So if I am diagnosing someone doing remote work and I want to know why they're not having a great user experience, I can tell right now I'm having latency and I'm having that potentially induced because of signal strength issues. So the ability that I have here is to click in, find a time where that's true, and now I actually have all of the items of interest highlighted for me right here. And that gives me the ability to diagnose a potential issue. So I additionally have a lot of different metrics that I can dig through. I mean, again, varying levels of interest in uh, trying to dig through this stuff, hence why we have formulated as this kind of KPI driven stuff. But that's a lot of root cause analytics we can get. Now, the other thing, though, that I want to highlight is that is within the context of our tool set. And one of the items that we oftentimes hear is people want to stick within their workflow. So we listened and uh, our primary ITSM tool of interest is ServiceNow. So most people are interested in using this for their ITIL processes. So that includes CMDB updates, which we also have an app for. But this is a new update to our ServiceNow store app. So what you're seeing here is a representation of the data we were just looking at in depth, but this is basically summarized into more actionable details that someone can really get at. So here, as an example, you can see Wi-Fi signal strength is an item that's immediately highlighted to the uh, ITSM or service desk personnel, and they don't have to leave the tool at all. Now, they can so they have a click through and that's fully supported into all of our other tool sets with context. But what this does is save time because if someone files a support ticket, you, you don't leave anywhere. You're not bouncing through our tool to try and find something. It's just presented to you in the context of interest. Now, there are a lot of other things, uh, you know, updated look and feel that we've got through here, but obviously that's a little bit more interesting if you've got some baseline familiarity with the product. So, you know, I'd say that, you know, by and large, this kind of remote work data collection, user experience metrology is a key for us. That and this introduction of kind of a next step to our ITSM augmentation tooling. So I'll go ahead and stop the share there. So that's kind of just the quick hit stuff. Um, but hopefully that got you an idea of some of what's in there. Great. Um, well, where can people go if they want to find out more information about SysTrack and some of the things you talked about today? Yeah. If you'd like to find out more, you can always hit our website. So that's lakesidesoftware.com. But I encourage everyone to sign up for either our cloud.lakesidesoftware.com. And that's the standard cloud site. Or for our insiders beta, if you'd like to get kind of the early adopters features, if you will. Uh, but both of those are up and available for free registration now. And that will provide you with more details and uh, a test tenant uh, if you're interested. Great. Well, thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks a lot. Appreciate it, Brian. Thanks, David. Appreciate, appreciate the good it. questions and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, I hope you, you enjoyed too. this video. If you'd like to see more of these VM blog videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. And it's important if you want to get notified the next time we post a video, 
please hit the subscribe and the bell notification.